Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and a special thanks to those of you that have subbed this forum. Please continue to subscribe down below in the easy to use sub button or the easy to use widget up above at the end. But this is going to be a quick video on the Flyers claiming defenseman Kevin Connaughton, where it'll be interesting to see what they now do with the former 6th, 7th defenseman Nick Sealer, who, albeit for a guy that we have to keep things in perspective, right, did not play all of last season, has actually filled in very nicely for the Flyers overplaying him early because they didn't get enough overall NHL defensive depth, and he's done what he's had to do early on and at times has been a relied upon defenseman like in that third period against New York, which is not something you want to have early on, which is a problem for the Flyers. But they claim another 6-7 defenseman in uh, Kevin Connaughton, where if you look at Sealer, Sealer has 105 NHL games and 112 AHL games to his credit, where Connaughton, the 31-year-old, is a more experienced 6-7 defenseman. Sealer has five uh, playoff games to his repertoire in the NHL, and Connaughton has eight, so they're fairly comparable there, but he has played Connaughton 259 AHL games, and has been more of an offensive force than Sewer. Sewer adds a little bit more punch on the back end, Connaughton to fight too, but he adds a little bit more punch and jam on the back end, and shot blocking, just defensive defenseman stuff, where Connaughton skates a little bit better, he's 31 now, so not as quick as he once was, before his size skates pretty well, is a shot blocker as well and a guy that can use the body, but the difference between the main difference between him and Sealer is he adds a little bit more offensive punch, which is obviously what the Flyers want throughout his career, particularly in the AHL, 118 points in 259 games. And then when it comes to the NHL, he has 77 points in 334 games, 27 goals and 50 assists. So he's not the biggest, obviously, offensive guy. That's why he's a 6'7 defenseman. But he's a guy that can add more offensive punch than Sealer. He's another good 6-7 pickup that you're able to get from the left side that can also play on the right defense. If so I don't have him as left defense or right defense, he can do both things just like Sealer can do. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how the Flyers decide to spin their lineup now that they have Kevin Connaughton um, in the... Uh, born here to be able to use and they have a guy that can move the pace a little bit more which is obviously something that if you saw Yo's, even though he runs a more defensive system he definitely runs a more pace driven system than AV that we saw that in the first game Connaughton's a guy I could see being used it looks like tonight it's still going to be projected with Sealer where Sealer for me the reason he's looked worse of late is Sealer Yandel pairing doesn't make any sense where obviously Sanheim and Risto that pairing has what this year it looks like you're gonna have Provorov back with Braun again. Um, Sealer might honestly work better with somebody else, but then you have to then move Risto down to the third defensive line. I understand it gets tricky at that point, but if you keep in Sealer or Connaughton, I don't think both of them work the best with a guy that is not the best in his own zone. Um, in Keith Yandel, who's more of an offensive guy, when yes, those guys are solid defensive defensemen. But they're six sevens for a reason because they're limited solid defensive defensemen, Nick Sealer and Kevin Connaughton, where Connaughton just adds a little bit more offensive spunk. So I think the line placement there might have some finagling going on in the future. And then obviously if people come back, like Ryan Ellis, a big thing, then that makes a huge factor in the future. But I think this pickup of Kevin Connaughton was a smart and wise pickup because the Flyers need as much defensive depth as they can get. They saw a guy available that's been an inconsistent player throughout his career, just like Nick Sealer at the NHL level. But at the AHL level, has been very solid, just like Nick Sealer, and has been a very good potent offensive guy at the AHL level, and has been solid at times at the NHL level in spurts on that factor that he adds a little bit more offensive punch in his blade. And he's a good 6th, 7th depth guy to have that now... You are going to have to play a little bit more. He is slated to be scratched tonight according to this NHL projection. But he's played solid. He was a plus four in his time in Florida. He just didn't get any points in his 13 games played. Uh, he's a guy, again, that you're going to have some of those same mistakes being he's a 6'7 that you get mad at, just like Sealer. But I think her fill is roll fine. You just got to find a good placement with him within the lines. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video on the Flyers claiming Kevin Connaughton from the Florida Panthers. A nice solid 6-7 pickup. It's nothing really more than that. I think he'll blend in nicely. But you have to obviously, if Ellis is going to keep getting banged up, if the Flyers want to be able to recover 
you're going to have to pick up a guy that's a little bit more than that on the defense if Ellis keeps having these issues um, with his injuries. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. A special thanks again to those that have subscribed. Please continue your support. And also subscribe over at Pierlo Wisdom. was on his show earlier today. Check out the show that goes from 3 to 5, but is still on his channel to check out now that we did today, talking about all of the latest and the greatest in the overall NHL. This has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Bork. Peace out, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the NHL season.